Okay, we are about ready to turn them loose, and here they go, the late models, ULMA late models here at State Fair Speedway. And that's Chris Hawkins and Lane Elmart up on that front row as they are going to lead them through one and two and down that back straightaway. And it looks like Chris Hawkins is going to take the lead as it looked like uh, Elmart had to back out of it just a little bit. And give way to Hawkins. Hawkins from down there in that Neosho area start running with the ULMA and has really been putting on a show as man he has opened up a pretty good gap here already at least an eight car length lead already here just on the second and third lap of this race. Now it looks like the 22 of Kevin Coyne in that third spot is wanting to come up and challenge Elhart as he starts looking to the inside. And they will run side by side down that front straightaway. Good race for second place. And meanwhile, Chris Hawkins is pulling out to a pretty sizable lead as he goes through turns three and four. Boyne and Elhart still battling for that second spot. It hasn't been decided there yet. Here comes your leader. Down that press right away. He is just about ready to get some black traffic. As we've got a car pretty slow there on the inside of the track. Ed Hawkins is going to run right by him. Elkhart gets by pulling. Now the fourth place car looks like Jason Russell in that fourth spot. Looks like Russell starting to get a charge. There's Jimmy Morris, but it only lasts for a little while. And we've got a yellow flag as we've got a car up against the barrier down here in turn four, and that will bring out a yellow flag. As soon as he moves a little bit, we can get a look at that number. We'll tell you who it is, but right now we can't tell. It's going to take him just a little while to get him lined back up. We'll be back here in just a minute with the ULMA late models from Sedalia State Fair Speedway. All right, we're ready to go again as Chris Hawkins is leading them down there now into turn three, and boy, they'll be busting loose when they come out of four. Your top five is going to be Chris Hawkins, Lane Elhart, Kevin Coyne, and then the two of Jason Russell and the nine. Of Jimmy Morris, we got one spun around. Right there, and that's going to take care of that start. Man, they're all over. Back up here just a little bit, and they are <laughs> just past the flag stand down into turn one as we've got four cars spun around and a couple more. Uh, just sort of set and involved in that, and waiting to uh, want things to kind of clear out, I think, before they move. But that's going to take care of that green flag start. They'll come back and try that. Well, Chris Hawkins has really had a fast race car this year. He's shown it several times already with this ULMA bunch. One off uh, feature race down at Valley. Now, looks like Lane Elhart going to be going to the back of the pack. That's going to move Kevin Coyne up to that second place. And outside of him, I think, is uh, Jason Russell. Brent Wood, Jason Bodenhammer right back there now in striking distance. Somebody falls off the pace there, looked like the two of Jason Russell. He's got her back under control now and back on the power. And he's looking to the outside. Kevin Coyne again. Hawkins is going to beat him through one and two. Kevin Coyne. Kind of 
bobbles a little bit coming out of two, and there's a good race there between Russell and Morris for that third spot. Wood now coming up looking at it. Right there are the two of Russell and the nine of Morris. Once again, Morris looks to the inside. Just can't get that momentum down on that low side in order to make that pass. Now it looks like Russell's going to drop down, kind of block that off. Meanwhile, Chris Hawkins now opens up a pretty good lead over Coyne again. Got it back out to about eight car lengths, and we've got another young guy. And I believe that is Jason Bodenhammer setting back here on the entrance to turn three, and that's going to bring out the yellow flag again. And we are going to take a little time out here and we'll be back. As soon as they get them relined and sorted out. Okay, we got them cleared away. Jason Bodenhammer going into the pit area. And now Chris Hawkins, still your leader. Kevin Coyne. And then Jason Russell. Brent Wood, Jimmy Morris. And we are back in the way. Five into the one down there. And looks like Kevin Coyne again is going to jump to the inside. Tries to make a run up on Hawkins, but just cannot do it. Hawkins just got, excuse me, that power to get away from Coyne. Coyne can get up here. Get up pretty close to him in the corner, but just cannot run with him. And now it looks like Morris is going to make a pass. No. Gets up beside Russell, but he just can't get out of the corner carry that speed on through there out into the straightaway. Looks like the 86 of Gordon Kimball. Now it's going to slide into that fifth spot. ULMA late models here on the big half mile at the Sedalia Fairgrounds. And it is, that's Imhoff. He slides up into that fifth spot. He doesn't have anything left. Some of these other guys. He runs up on the outside of Morris. Morris pulls away from him down the straightaway. Meanwhile, up front, it is still Chris Hawkins, Kevin Moore, Jason Russell, and now Jordan Imhoff. Slides up into that fourth spot. Maybe the fastest car out there right now is the car 86 of Emma. There comes Morris back down on the bottom side. Hawkins and Point uh, pulled away from first place Russell. Hawkins looks like he's got about an 8 to 10 car length lead on Coin. Coin maybe a 15 car length lead on third place. Once again, Chris Hawkins is going to be catching up with the last car pretty quick. Got a good race going on here for fifth spot. Nine car, Nimhoff, nine car has to back out of it a little bit as it gets a little bit squirted. They're all working their way around the lap car now. Hawkins still your leader. Coin still in second in striking distance. All Hawkins is going to have to do is mess up a little bit. Kevin Coin is going to be right there. Coin inches up closer to him and once again get on that straightaway and boy Hawkins just pulls away. We've got to be getting up into the closing stages of this race. Coin getting some good bite down around that bottom actually carrying more corner speed than Hawkins. And now Imhoff Gets by the uh, TJR. 
take over that third spot. Russell just barely hanging on the board as the dime car looks to the outside. He's going to go around Russell. Drop Russell back into the fifth place. And Hawkins is going to take the white flag. One lap to go. Let's see where the point. Do anything with it. Gets up, takes a look at that rear quarter panel, might even tap him over there just a little bit, but it's down to two. They run down the back straightaway, and Hawkins does his thing. He just sort of pulls away to see whether or not. And we've got a yellow flag. We're probably going to have to do this all over again if we do. And it looks like John Benning right down here on the straightaway. Yeah, he's either dropped the radiator, hose, or something. But... Uh, Quite a bit of steam, smoke, something coming out of that car. Okay, Chris Hawkins, still your leader. I think we're going to be going green-white checkered here as that yellow flag came out on the white flag lap. So it's going to be Chris Hawkins, Kevin Coyne, and outside of him is the... I forgot. Can't see it. The one you want to watch is the black nine right there. He's come up from last place. That's even Hubert. And here we go. Green, white, check. That's Imhoff on the outside. Looked like Russell in fourth. And Hubert in that fifth spot. And look at Imhoff. He's going to get around point there and see whether he can hang on to this. We're still going to have one more lap to go. This is going to be some kind of finish. Boy, what a race here for these ULMA late Hawkins. Looks like he's going to put it in his pocket. Still got one lap to go. This guy's got some tremendous straightaway speed. I can't see anybody catching him. I think Hawkins, or Imhoff, I'm sorry, may wrestle that second spot away from Kevin Coyne as he goes to the top side to see how they come out. And it is going to be Hawkins first, Imhoff, Coy, Russell, and I believe and it's going to be the 13-year-old Jake Griffin is going to come up into that fifth spot, but Chris Hawkins holding off some. Really fast runners tonight. That Imhoff coming up long ways as he started uh, in the one, two, three, four, five, six row outside. So 12. And Chris Hawkins is going to take it here for the late models. The ULMA late models here at State Fair Speedway in Sedalia, Missouri.